Representative Justin Chenette from District 134 in Saco uh, came down here to ask our my listeners to uh, to help out the Saco drive-in because uh, because they, they had to go digital at a cost of eighty thousand dollars and the, there was no way they could do that. Uh, but to the rescue came uh, uh, what was it? Honda, the Honda automobile people, who said we're going to give away five of these eighty thousand dollar units. Uh, and when you when you came here, I, I must admit, I, I you know I said sure we'd love to help you out. Justin, well, first of all, welcome back. Well, thank you for having me. And congratulations, you guys won. I can't believe it. Not only you won, you won the first (laughs) The the first first round, round. right. I mean, we're a small theater in a small state competing with these much larger theaters in much larger areas. Right. Um, And we were the first one out of the gate. And so it's still sort of an aha moment for me. Now, first, some people said, well, this is obviously the result of uh, social networking. Right. But, uh, But I thought, well, yeah, I'm sure it was partly that. But Maine people, when they heard, you know, that these people, when 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 Mainers are in trouble, uh, you know, neighbors, maybe neighbors step up to help. What can I do to help? We naturally come together. Uh, and all you said was call. You know, you gave the number, text, and and click vote online, and people have they been could re-sharing. do it once a day, once a day. They could do it every day, every day. Yeah. And uh, you know, I would talk talking to certain people, and they'd be like, "We religiously vote every single day. We want to make sure we do that, no matter their situation or background. They're just excited about this." <laughs> And, I, you know, when I heard it on WJN, Saco Drive-In, you know, gets a reprieve, $80,000 uh, system. Right. I said, amazing. And, it is. and, of course, I immediately took full credit for it. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> it was your show that really launched it. Um, no, but, I mean, you you are, you are uh, stepped up and, and uh, rallied, you know, rallied the troops and got this thing going. Well, it was really a lot of people. Um, you know, if it wasn't for all the media attention, if it wasn't for all the people that would share on their Facebook yeah. pages, yeah. I mean, this was really a team effort. I don't think any one person uh, can take credit, but I think it's a true testament to how important, right. you know, the Saco drive-in is, not yeah. just to Saco, right. but across the state. Right, and so now uh, it will li- it will live. Yeah, it so will this will on. not be the last season. So it will see the light of day. Uh, we should be getting the, the digital projector in a couple weeks from now. Now, we will have to make some adjustments in, uh, in, in the... Uh in, the, in this facility. Right. Um, you know, in order to sort of house this digital unit, there's some yeah. modifications that are going to need to be uh, put into place. And, you know, it is an aging, uh, uh, you know, uh, business. Right. Um, it was, it's the second oldest operational driving in the country. So there's right. going to be some needed uh, repairs and renovations. But, you know, this was the big chunk, you know, the 80 plus yeah. thousand dollar digital projector. So right. now for its 75th anniversary next year, it will wow. be open. Of course, uh, GIN is celebrating our 75th this year. Oh, and see. So ne- next year, the Saco Driving will be the same age. Saco Driving, yep, wow. of in business. So, yeah, it, it's uh, it's a great thing for future generations. And it generations. must, it must yeah. be a, a great, you know, a great feeling for the people of, of Saco. That we rallied. I, I, thought, them, I yeah. thought the thing was gone. I mean, <laughs> I really did. I said, yeah. you know, it, it's nice that they're, they're, they're giving them a chance. Right. But I said, it's an awful big country. Well, you know, if it wasn't for the Honda contest, we probably would be in a worse situation. You know, this sort of fell in at the right time. You know, we had been fundraising, as you know, doing events. And it was it was good, but you know, raising five thousand versus getting a digital projector for eighty plus thousand, completely different. Representative Justin Chenette of Saco uh, was one of the people who rallied the troops in in Saco to save the Saco drive-in, and uh, from. From uh, all of the uh, drive-ins across the country, and of course there are a lot fewer than than there used to be, but but still, I'm thinking 300 million people in this country. It's a big country, a lot of different situations, right. uh, and for, and for Saco to to not not only win this thing, but to, but to come out the number one of all the other theaters. Right, and we competed against about 130 plus theaters. Wow. Uh, that and that's not that's there's really about impressive. there's about 300 drive-ins across the country, but about 130 actually competed in the contest. So yeah. I mean, if you think about that and yeah. how Maine is now put on the map, uh, yeah. I think that's great. Yeah. So uh, is is the theater still operating now? Still operating now. It's sort of transitioning into um, sort of the fall hours. You know, it's sort of weekend right. uh, drive-in time right. through Halloween. Um, so, you know, people can still come down and, uh, you know, see it and, and, and make memories and that sort now, of thing. Now, you, you have no uh, connection in terms of e- either employment or anything with these. Oh, things. right. No, I just represent They're just it. one of your constituents. It's just one of my constituents. And uh, they were in trouble. You wanted to help them out. Right. And, and, and it worked. And I say that to, to any business in my in my district. I think that 
is hands-on leadership. I think that's if more people start to do that and recognize that we can't lose businesses. I mean, yeah. we have to at least keep the existing ones in place right. and then add more. And now, so, I heard that this uh, digital system uh, is like just what you just flick the switch and, and uh, whereas, right. because I have operated the old projector. Uh -oh. I was part of the group that, <laughs> that uh, the, the citizens who took over the Grand Theater in Ellsworth. Oh, yeah. That original. And, uh, you know, it was a clunky old uh projector right and the, you know the film would get sometimes get ground up yeah. and you'd have to splice it and right. so that the so then when you played it again the movie would jump and skip and... Oh, <laughs> that seems a lot of complications there <laughs> i know i know uh and of course because of the old days i think in the old days film used to be uh highly uh flammable so oh. you, it had to be uh in a, in a you know a fireproof you know, because you have a bunch of people out front. Oh, that's true. And, yeah. uh, you know, if this thing explodes. And so, uh, but, I, and it was very, very difficult. Yeah, digital is completely different, Apparently, which is a good yeah. thing, right? Yeah, and it's just, cheaper for a lot of individuals and, in, like, the film industry and that sort of thing. Yeah, because they can send it to you online. Right. And do all that. And, exactly. uh, yeah, so, and so it is, it is moving the, the, uh, drive ins into the, 21st century. Yeah. And and we're able to then, you know, run commercials before it or little PSAs, you know, if we wanted to get a message out to people, um, you know, it, it opens up a lot of opportunities for the surrounding community. So when will they plan to open their season next year with all did when is when is the movie industry? They actually gave a date, right? When when they had to It's the end of this year. I mean, um for for us it's the end of the season um right. but for the the places like in texas that, that can be open year-round not right. because they don't yeah. have you know five feet of snow main <laughs> uh, theaters are open drive-ins are open in january yeah exactly <laughs> there's no like in, inside drive-in you know so um <laughs> which would be scary so um so for the rest of them it would be essentially the december time frame um and and so then uh so next year so you're going to see actually drive-ins across the country still close down because they can't make the digital conversion. Yeah. And I know part of the contest actually was actually raising money on the side. Like Honda was just raising about $35,000 they ended up raising for people just saying, you know what, I want to donate to this fund yeah. and hopefully help other drive-ins. And you know what, the, this isn't done yet for us because we're actually going to be helping Skowhegan. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the other drive-ins across the state, because we want them to stay open. This yeah. isn't a competition. Right. I mean, it's sort of one of those things where if you want to take your family and you're up north, you're not going to go necessarily yeah, to all the way down to Saco. And if you're right. in Saco, you're not going to go to Skowhegan. Exactly. Just and, a wild guess. Right. <laughs> exactly. But we want to hold on to that as long as we can. So uh, some of the folks at some of the other drive-ins, including Skowhegan, helped us out in terms of getting you know, their citizens to vote. So now we want to help them. So what what can people, is, is there anything people can do now besides just go to the drive-in? People can go to the drive-in. I mean, um, we'll have, we'll be rolling out more things in terms of helping out the other drive-ins. Um, and then if there's well, any like other. Like the, the, there is one in Bridgeton. And what were right. some of the others? That, there is there one in Skowhegan? There's one in Skowhegan. Okay. Um, but it, so it's very unlikely that Honda will, would give two in one state. Right. Um, and yeah, we'll find out the, the remaining uh, theaters like tomorrow and Monday. But um, they, the goal for Honda, obviously, is to get as, as much outreach as possible. So they're not going to give two in one state. No. Right. right. How, how did uh, how did people first find out? Did they call the, the owners of the theater? Um, right. So they, they uh, send them an email. So Honda folks actually physically came to the drive in really? to tell the owner the news. And then they say classy. Group they must it was be. fantastic, <laughs> and uh, and these are head honchos. I mean, this yeah. is sort of lower on the totem yeah. pole. They flew out. Well, I mean, this is a big deal. Them. Eighty it grand is. for uh, five different machines. Oh, it, it was fantastic. Close to half a million dollars. And then they sponsored a party for us. <laughs> and then they're like, "Oh, come on down for free," you know. And and of course, you know how everybody found out about it was yeah. we posted on Facebook, and it was shared like a thousand times. And then everybody <laughs> found out about it. And the it must have been a written. wild party. When it, it was, was a party yesterday. Um, it was the day we found out. So it was um, Thursday, it was Monday. Gosh, it all flows together now. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, it was great to kind of have everybody there. And they where, where was the party? Right at the drive-in. I, I, my invitation must have got lost. John, <laughs> <laughs> you're on my sticky note. I should have. No, um, no, it was great because not only did we have the Honda folks there, but yeah. the, the people that filmed the commercial initially over the summer right. came and sort of filmed a follow-up. More stuff. Yeah. You know, follow. It was almost like that reality show film crew that follows well, you around. Well, now that the, now that si the people of Saga have proven they they can do this, because I I the must say, the I must say <laughs> I was really impressed. I was yeah. when I heard it. Um, I said. Son of a gun! They did it, <laughs> Saco, Saco, Maine. Right. Out of uh, all the uh, and and then I found out from you that 
that they came out number one. They, you, they were the first to be announced. Right. Um, and, and this shows how tight-knit our community is. Yeah. Um, and, and again, it's not just Soho, but Soho really got behind it. So um, what are you going to take on next? What are you <laughs> Who knows? Everybody will be running for cover when you announce your next project. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, it should be interesting. Um, there's some plans in the works of trying to continue this community organizing in other areas, mm -hmm. partnering with um, you know the drive-in owner who's really committed to the community and some basically yeah, continuing our team. Because there was a team. great article about it, very right. you know reminiscent. I mean, and you know, and, and I'm at an age where I actually remember driving theaters, mm -hmm. and I remember all the things that people used to do, like drive off with the uh, speaker still in the back <laughs> window, and you rip the window out. It never happened to me. Of but, course not. Of course not. It came, not. No, no, it came no. close, but it did happen to some friends. That was along with the flammable film reels, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. And, uh, of course, then there were people who used to put trays on their, I'll never forget this, uh, uh, they used to put, you know, they'd hang trays. You go to the uh, snack bar, and they give you a tray, and you could hang it on your window. And, <laughs> oh, and one day, this guy gets in the car because his thing is on the window, and he, he slams the door, and the entire thing came flying. Oh gosh! <laughs> <laughs> but it brought back all those great memories. Those great those, memories like, of the tray <laughs> falling out, right? Friday night, <laughs> Friday night at the drive-in. Well, no, it, it's one of those kind of cultural Americana yeah. sort of experiences. And, and the one up in Rockland that I do remember. Oh yeah, uh, the one in Rockland. On, they used to advertise on Sunday morning. They'd play salacious movies during the week, mm -hmm. and then on Sunday they'd have a drive-in church. I mean, I don't really? know how they. I don't. I don't know whether it was a movie of it. They a, should do that again. Preacher. I know. <laughs> well, they have the mega churches now with the in the amphitheaters. Yeah. they should put it at the drive-in. Yes, we never went to the church, but I mean, I, I, I it did, did seem kind of. Uh, incongruous to have the, the well you the, know what well, was interesting um the Ry russell who's the owner of the soccer drive-in was telling me you know what now that we have digital i can see the super bowl being played here i could see yeah. a lot of these fun things that's right because they can do those things that do you mean like uh, pay for pay-per-view or something right we could do all that anything that's digital now we can kind of connect the screen it's basically yeah. just a large screen the now. sky's we, the limit the sky's the limit so i mean we could do the church but we could also do the super bowl and yeah. different things so yeah. I, I i'm really excited to what we can do so. well congratulations well thank you and, so and much. That, i mean was there a formal committee at all um there was I, sort I mean, of an organizing you me, group you called me out of the blue and just said you know, can I come on and talk about it? And I said, well, it sounds like a great idea. Well, well, the owner contacted me about 10 months ago. It was like back in December. Right. Um, and ever since then, we've been brainstorming and we've been bringing more people involved and, mm -hmm. and trying to kind of build this group. And ever since then, we've been uh, working at this. So when did the... When when did the voting start? I mean, when we were you able to? Uh, the voting was at exactly a month, so it started back in August. Wow! So, but before then, we had anticipated not having this contest, so we were fundraising and, and doing all kinds of great things. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so for exactly a month, everyone's been out there. And you did you dial in every day? And oh yeah, and, I, I mean, I I did dial up. I did vote once, and just I forgot, once, John. Well, I forgot. Oh, John. Oh, geez. I forgot. <laughs> uh, no, but it is hard. I mean, because you're thinking, oh, I voted, yeah. and that's oh, I have to vote again. Yeah. So that's why you know constant reminders on Facebook were critical. Yeah. I you know I didn't even did a robo call out to Saco like make sure you vote. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it, it it was important to get the word out. So, but we appreciate that you voted. That was yes. great. Uh, and and I don't know I don't know how many of my listeners. Uh, I did, but I mean, you know, it did sound like a, a, a main community thing where, right. hey, the people are, uh, they, they, uh, they're in trouble. They need some help. Right. Uh, let's see what we can do. Well, uh, we just went up to Augusta for a, like a caucus meeting and all the legislators were like, oh, yeah, we voted every day. So, um, so uh, across the state, we had people getting Now, see, involved. in some small main towns, the people would, uh, they would have brought a covered dish to the, the drive-in to, to help out. Right. That's what they, you know, that's what right. main people do. Right. No, uh, hey, I'll take a covered dish, but we also <laughs> needed their vote. So like, <laughs> covered dish and a vote. Well, uh, congratulations. Thank and, you so much, John. Uh, uh, when, when you have another project. I'm sure there'll be another, another, another yes, one. I know. I, I have no <laughs> doubt you will have another one. So uh, and come in again. Thank, thank you, John. Uh, that is Representative Justin Chenette. He was one of the uh, the leaders of the uh, the campaign down. He is from District 134 in, in Saco, part of the group that uh, rallied the people of Saco and surrounding areas to save the Saco Drive-In, and they were successful. They uh, they were informed by the uh, executives of, of Honda uh, that they were the first uh, drive. Honda agreed to give out five. Uh, 
five digital systems, and because the uh, the industry is going digital, and 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 all of these movie theaters will have to be uh, digital, or they'll go out of business. And and it looks like Saco Drive-In will be saved, and uh, that's a good thing.